when technicians are wrapping up a job, it's a good idea um, to collect a signature from the customer stating that the work was completed and that they're happy. Um, this helps <clears throat> in the future if there are any issues with um, them trying to go back on payment because they're saying that the work wasn't completed. Um, collecting their signature you know, helps in, in that scenario. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is quickly go through the UX of the signature collection feature in Amplinx. We're releasing a new mobile build this week uh, containing this this new feature. And then afterwards, I'm going to get on the tech, I'm gonna get into the technical stuff and and talk through some uh, the the uh, actual implementation using React Native and React Native Skia. Uh, super simple. Um, so what I have here is a a work order or a service call. You know, let's imagine that we're removing an old AC unit and we're installing a new one at this address. Um, we have a bunch of tabs here, which I won't get into. Um, the last tab that we have is the actions tab. This this contains, um, you know, things to do at the end of a job, such as taking any pictures. Let's say you're working on a residential job and the homeowner says, hey, you know, thanks for installing the lights in my kitchen. I'd also like you to, you know, quote me on the garage. Um, you would uh, create a new sales lead, keep track of these notes so that your your sales rep can reach out and, Create an estimate. Use that estimate to generate a proposal. You know, get a sign. Get a, you know, uh, the, the customer would then accept that proposal, and then you and your team, your your dispatch team, or you, your business owner, they would create a new service call for the technician to go out and, and do the do the things. Uh, we have a signatures button here. Um, this is you know the, the the important thing for this video. We have a, a simple list of collected signatures. This may you know, get more complex in the future with cat with you know maybe some categorization or filtering or sorting, whatever it is. Um, but you know, we'll wait for users to de to demand that. Um, you can click into previous signatures to see, um, uh, yeah, just see the signature. Say, hey, look, you signed this on ten fifteen. You know, what are you, what are you talking about? Um, so let's get into the the, the collect new signature feature. Um, let's say John Doe uh, remove. Uh, install new lights. I guess I said I was going to talk about the AC unit, but that's okay. Uh, then you can go ahead and and, and, uh, and sign here. This is the the input that we are uh, you know, going to talk about uh, when we get into the dev stuff. Uh, but simple to collect the signature. It gets added to the bottom. Maybe we move the most recent to the top, but like I said, we'll wait for users to tell us what to do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the feature. Super simple from a usability standpoint. Um, so let's get into the dev stuff. So we have a collect new signature. This is the input that we care about. That's going to be this canvas. Uh, we have a local reference to the canvas so that when it comes time to reset, we can redraw the canvas, uh, which will you know, help remove any uh, anything that we have in there so that we can you know, keep drawing from there. Um, we have a style, which is you know, not, not, not important. Uh, we have an on touch, which I'll get to that handler in a minute. Um, this canvas has one component, which is one one child, which is the path component. Um, it has a stroke width of one. The default is zero, which is just a little too thin. Um, so one, one, let's see, what's two? Two is just a little, I mean, two is not bad, but uh, we'll keep it at one. Uh, we have style, which is stroke. There's the stroke or there's fill. We obviously don't want, that's not a signature. We don't want that. Um, so stroke works well. We have path, which is a, a, a local state. We need to be a local state so that um, we can um, update the UI. Uh, this is just going to be a default, uh, you know, skia path using the, the dot make property. Um, so yeah, we have the touch handler, which is I'll get into. Uh, this is uh, a local, you know, callback or function that we're that we're calling, declaring. I guess this would be a variable that we're declaring, or maybe it's a function. Um, I guess whatever return back from here, irrelevant. So we have use touch handler, which has three properties on start, on active, and on end. On start is if I do, let's see if I can just get up. Yep. So on start is 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 when I press down on active console.log on active um, x y. Uh, oh, down here. Um, and then we have on end. So when I press, there's the on start. When I move, there's your on active. And then when I lift it is when you would have seen that if I if I added a console.log. Um, so to start, we're moving to. So essentially move the cursor to wherever you press down and then just draw a million little lines to you know the next X, Y coordinate that the user goes down. Um, our on end is updating Redux. So we have our current signature slice, which is 
um, we're storing each signature, so all this information in a uh, in a document, which we're calling signature state, I think. Yeah, signature state. Um, just keeping track of all this info, who it was collected by, so the you know the, the team knows that hey, you know Matt collected this when he was out on the job. Uh, this is the work order that was assigned to give me all the signatures for that work order. Uh, this is the my, you know I'm the technician. This is my team's ID, essentially document ID, saying that oh Matt's team, you know give me all of the all of the, the the signatures that were collected today by my team, right? This is more of like the admin or or you know business owner stuff. Um, so this is used for the save operation. And I say won't won't get too much into that, but yeah, that's I mean that's really the feature. Uh, Skia makes this super simple um, to to do. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have uh, any questions. Thanks.